So this is Caesar book four, chapter 33. And what happens in this chapter is Caesar goes in depth on the type of fighting and what happens when the charioteers go in battle and what their plans are and what their mode of transportation slash execution is of different battles. Um, so just a note on the colors of the words and the highlighting and such. So if I highlight um, a word in green, it's the main verb. If I highlight it in pink, it's the subject. If I highlight it in blue, it's a direct object. And I, if I highlight it in purple, which you'll see at the very end of the passage, it's an infinitive. Okay, so this is hawk est, the mode, genus, of fighting, pugni, with the chariots, ex essedis. First, primo, they ride per requantant, um, through all parts, per omnes partes, and they throw conyacient, um, spears, tela, and atque, they disturb, Greatly per turbebant, um, the ranks ordines of them, um, and uh, with the terror, with the terror, um, terrore of their horses, uh, quorum, equorum, and at the rattle, striptu of their wheels, rotarum. And when, um, et cum. They penetrate in su, uh, su, in su, uh, where um, among the troops, uh, inter termas, and this type of troop, this word specifically means there, um, it has 30 cavalry, uh, 30 men who are in the cavalry in it. Um, so, and when, at com, they penetrate in su, uh, where um, among, inter, the troop, Termas of horses, equitum, they jump down, de silon, from their horses, or from their chariot, from their horses, ex sadis, and et, they engage, proile lantor, um, on, they engage battle, on, that's what that word means, on foot. Meanwhile, interim, the charioteers, Arugai, um, gradually, politem, withdraw, ex exadon, from battle, ex prolio, and, um, and thus, ita, um, they assemble, colocant, with the chariots, cursus, so that, ut, if, see, their leaders, and it's like, the Ili is their leaders. Um, if their leaders, one sec, are overpowered, pray montor, um, by a very large crowd, mul uh, multitudine hostium, a, bear, a very large crowd of the enemy, um, they have habebant, an unimpeded, and these expeditum and the receptum go together, so an unimpeded retreat to their own, and to their own guys, to their own army. Thus, Ita, they stand before Prystot, um, before, um, in battle, in Proleis, the speed of the horse, mo, uh, mobilitatem equitam, um, and then to, and then you kind of imply, like, a together with, um, together with the stability of the infantry. So, that part is, thus they stand before, in battle, the speed of the horse, together with the infantry. Um, and the uh, ak there. Um, by daily practice, quotidiano uso, and exercise, exercitione, um, they complete efficient to such tantum expertness that they are accustomed to. And so... The dots are this part of a very long result clause, and so to make sense of this part, I had to add the very last word of the whole entire passage in this slide, which is consuerunt, um, but I'll explain it in a minute. So that part, the uti consuerunt, sets up a very, very long result clause of 
um, what the cal or what the charioteers and the cavalry are able to do. So that part was um, thus they stand before in battle the speed of the horse together with the stability of the infantry and by daily practice and exercise they complete to such expertness that they are accustomed to. So then it goes into the, the result clause. So even on a declining and steep place, so declawi ac procepti loco, um, they, or to check sustenere, their spurred horses ex inquitatos equos, um, both et, so it's the, the et, et, et thing, so it's both and, and, and. So both um, to control, modere, and to turn, flectere, them shortly, so like to make a quick move, and to percure, to run along the pole, per timonum, um, and to stand, insistere, upon a yoke, and then, um, at Inde, um, this part's a little confusing in English, but it's, and then, most quickly, to take themselves in the chariot. Um, so, that last part, that whole last part is, even on a declining and steep place, to check their spurred horses, both to control and turn them shortly, and to run along the pole and to stand upon a yoke and then quickly to take themselves in their, with their chariot. So it's talking about how the charioteers, after they dismount their horses on foot, they retreat back to their chariots just in case their leaders kind of get screwed over or whatever. Um, and then they have to, and then if they have to retreat or if they have to make a quick move, they have to be able to run along side the horses and then jump into the chariot as it's moving sort of like how some people like jump out of golf carts or try to jump into a golf cart um today so yeah that's it for chapter 33 of book four